I once interviewed a spy and she told me that her absolute favorite privacy tool was a privacy screen. I would never go anywhere public without my privacy screen. I don't, because I do what I do, want other people to know even like pretty basic stuff about me. So I don't want people, people shoulder surfing me. A privacy screen, hey? Now that interview was five years ago and it was the first time I'd ever heard of a privacy screen. But since that interview, I have been using them every day on all of my devices and it's become one of my favorite privacy tools too. So this is a quick video to just make sure you're aware that these things exist. A lot of what we talk about on this channel is technical and purely digital. We oftentimes forget the importance of physical privacy in a world outside of your device. A privacy screen is a super easy analog tool that you can apply today that has powerful results in beefing up your privacy. I'll explain what a privacy screen is, how the technology works, I'll walk you through how to apply your screens to your devices, and finally go over some important tips, especially if you have a fingerprint reader on your phone screen itself that you use. Let's start with understanding what a privacy screen is. It's also known as a privacy filter or privacy protector. You put it on your phone and computer and it will limit the viewing angle of the screen, making it hard for people nearby to see what's on it. Think about all the sensitive information we access on our devices. We view banking details and passwords. We read private conversations. We watch hentai. <coughs> Did she just? Our private activities are broadcast brightly from our glowing screen, making it super easy for those around us to see what we're doing. I've sat at the back of conference halls and seen the private activity on laptops and phones, even from the other side of the room. At 25 meters, you can clearly see the detail on both screens. I've sat in movie theaters and read the private conversations of people in front of me. I would have much rather been watching the movie, by the way. Put your darn phone away. On public transport, people these days use their devices constantly, and those nearby can all participate in what I'm sure are not meant to be group activities. Strangers shoulder surfing on what we do on our devices can be dangerous. Thieves are using the iPhone passcode to get into stolen phones and loot their victims' bank accounts and money apps. He grabbed the phone and then uh, disappeared. In fact, just yesterday, I was on a plane and a lady a few rows in front had a spreadsheet open labeled insert company name here, passwords. A list of passwords that I could read from my seat. <laughs> Oh, wait, you serious? I almost tapped her on the shoulder to initiate a lengthy conversation about password managers. But one simple, often overlooked tool that would have also helped her is a humble privacy screen. With one of these filters attached to her laptop screen, only she would have been able to see what's on the screen, preventing people like me looking from the sides from snooping. Let's briefly talk about how the technology works. Most privacy screens will either use micro louver tech or polarization tech, and sometimes they have a combination of both. Micro louver privacy screens have microscopic slats that work similarly to window blinds by controlling the direction of light. These screens use the physical structure of micro louvers to refract or bend the light as it passes through the screen, directing it straight ahead, allowing only the person directly in front of the screen to see the content. When viewed from an angle, the light is blocked or refracted in such a way that the screen appears dark dark or completely black. Polarized lenses, on the other hand, are designed to filter the actual light waves, allowing only light traveling in a specific direction to pass through. The molecules in the polarized film are aligned to block horizontal light waves while permitting vertical waves. You can also get screens that combine these technologies. It's all very complicated sounding, but the result is a piece of plastic or glass that you can put on your phone or laptop so that whatever is on the screen is only visible to the person directly in front of it. The primary benefit is enhanced privacy, but they also serve as normal screen protectors, helping prevent damage from scratches or minor impacts. Let's walk through how to apply a privacy screen. First, we'll look at phones. You can get either glass or plastic screens for almost all phone types. Just search for your specific size and model. I found the glass ones are the easiest to apply without bubbles, and I use them on some of my devices. But plastic screens are also super easy to apply. And if there are any bubbles when you first apply, they will often self-heal in a short amount of time. And there are other benefits to plastic screens that I'll go over in a moment. 
There are also privacy screens that have built-in blue light filters, if that's something that you're interested in. Application of these screens will be slightly different for each one, but the process is generally very similar. Wipe your phone screen clean and make sure that it's dry. You'll usually have a removable plastic film on both sides of your screen to stop dirt or fingerprint marks getting on the screen itself during application. These will usually be labelled or numbered in the order that you should remove them. Peel off the first film, then align the screen with your phone, making sure that the camera holes match up. Then slowly press the screen to your phone, starting from one end and then pushing it down along the phone, removing bubbles as you go. Finally, peel away the second removable film and you're done. For your computer, for privacy screens that stick permanently to your monitor, the process is pretty much the same. There are also removable screens that hook over the top of your monitor, or those that have a magnet along the top of your privacy screen that sticks to the top of the laptop screen. This is what I use, and I just leave it on all the time, but I do like having the option to remove it when needed. Now, some important tips. Some phones have a fingerprint reader on the phone screen itself, and a privacy screen will stop this reader from working. Even if you beef up the brightness of the screen or increase touch sensitivity on the device, it won't work. And although there are privacy screen brands that say they work with fingerprint readers, I am yet to find one. But there are workarounds, for which you'll need a plastic screen. For a while, I used to peel up my privacy screen every time I wanted to use the fingerprint reader. This was a terrible idea, and eventually the privacy screen broke off, leaving me with half a screen on the device. Still better than no privacy screen, but not ideal. Instead, now I have a hole cut out where my fingerprint reader is. It's simple and it keeps my phone very private. The easiest way to do this is rest your privacy screen on top of the phone screen while its protective films are still on. Illuminate the fingerprint reader and draw a circle around it. You're just drawing on something that you'll peel off and throw away later, not the actual screen itself. Cut a line straight through the hole to split your screen in two halves. Cut out the hole on each half and then apply each half of the screen to your device separately. The pieces should fit perfectly together. Some people might not like having a hole or a line across their screen. I personally don't care at all, and I feel great having better privacy on my device. Another thing to keep in mind with privacy screens is that your phone and computer will appear slightly darker with them on. I haven't found this to be an issue. In fact, I usually forget I have them on, and then I go to show someone something on my screen and they complain that they can't see what I'm talking about. And that's when I get a little jolt of delight, being reminded that I have one of these screens on and that it's working as intended. We do so many sensitive and private things on our devices. A privacy screen is a simple, affordable way to better protect ourselves from shoulder surfers or would-be thieves. It's an easy add-on that should be part of everyone's privacy toolkit. You never know who might be looking over your shoulder, so use a privacy screen for better peace of mind. If you made it all the way here in the video, it means you really like our channel. Consider helping us make it sustainable by donating. NBTV is funded by community donations, and your support goes a long way to helping us make free educational content that teaches people how to reclaim control over their digital lives. Visit nbtv.media support to set up a monthly tax-deductible donation to our nonprofit. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Did you know we also have a free newsletter that goes out each week filled with privacy tips and video tutorials? Sign up at ambtv.substack.com. See you there.